What do you think of when you imagine a healthy forest? When left alone, many places on Earth naturally develop into forests. Now this has been going on for hundreds of millions of years. Forests don't need to be planted or managed by humans. In fact, the forests with the largest trees and the most wildlife are those that have been left alone by humans. We call these old growth forests. But forests can experience severe disturbances from intense windstorms or fires, or from timber harvesting, which can be the most damaging. The forest will slowly recover, but this process could take hundreds of years. The first to grow back are the plants that can live in full sun. Some of these plants might be non-native invasives. Some trees start growing back right away from stumps or seeds in the soil, but other species don't return for decades. The young trees grow close together and shade the ground and each other. At this phase, many foresters will say the forest is overstocked and they'll suggest thinning or harvesting. But if harvesting is allowed, the cycle will just start all over before the other organisms have had a chance to recover. When we have the patience to wait, the crowded forest begins to thin itself naturally and the forest eventually recovers its structural complexity. If this forest is left alone long enough, some of the trees may get very large. Now these large trees are important for carbon storage and wildlife habitat. Occasionally big trees fall over and become important habitat for organisms on the forest floor. As the trunks decompose, they enrich the soil for the other trees. The gaps left by the fallen trees allow sun-loving species to thrive, even in the heart of the forest. These beautiful old-growth forests attract human visitors, who can be very important for the local economy. Forests clean the air and the water for everyone. Old forests are much better at this cleaning than the young managed forests. It takes hundreds of years for a young forest to develop into an old growth forest, yet it takes only a moment to decide to harvest a forest and set the process back to the starting point. Humans have the ability to destroy forests for short-term financial gain. But we also have the ability to stand together across the generations to protect some of these forests for the future. Let's stand together to do the right thing and protect more forests for the next generation of humans and the next generation of wild creatures. The oldest forests are the healthiest forests.